Good morning children. Now we know what are integers and also that all the four operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division can be performed on integers. So let us see the properties related to addition of integers first. Here we will cover the closure property and the commutative property related to addition of integers. The whole number that is 0 including the natural numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and also the negative integers such as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on constitute the integers. So integer is collection of 0 and the positive integers and the negative integers. Now let us try adding the two integers. First let us add 17 plus 23. Here we see both the integers are positive that is having the same sign so we just add them and the answer is equal to 40. Next let us add 19 and minus 26. Here 19 is a positive integer and 26 is a negative integer. How do we add these two? We just take the absolute value of these two and subtract the bigger number from the smaller number. So here 26 is the bigger number and 19 is the smaller number in terms of absolute value. So let us subtract 26 minus 19 which are the absolute values of these two numbers and then we put the sign of the bigger number which is 26 here. So 26 minus 19 is equal to 7 and we will put the sign of the bigger number which is 26 here. So the answer becomes minus 7. What do we see? When we add the two positive integers, the answer is an integer. And when we add one positive and one negative integer, then two, the answer is an integer. So what can we say? We can say when we add two integers, the sum is always an integer. That is, the answer is always an integer. This property is called the closure property of addition. Now let us see another property related to addition. Let's try adding the two numbers in different order. First we will add 5 and minus 6. Here 5 is a positive integer and minus 6 is a negative integer. So by taking the absolute values we subtract 6 minus 5 which is 1 and then we put the sign of the bigger number which is 6 here and it has negative sign. So answer is minus 1. Now let us change the order of addition. So this becomes minus 6 plus 5. Here again the answer would be equal to minus 1. So what can we say? Even on changing the order of addition the answer is same which is minus 1. So 5 plus minus 6 is same as minus 6 plus 5. Just the order is changed for addition. And the answer is same which is minus 1. 
So what can we say? We can say while adding the two integers, the order of addition does not alter the sum. And this property is called the commutative property of addition. So we saw two properties related to addition. Let us revise. First, we saw the sum of two integers is always an integer. This is called the closure property of addition like we saw. 17 plus 23 is equal to 40 and here the answer or the sum is an integer. We also saw 19 plus minus 26 is equal to minus 7. Here again the answer is an integer. So we can say the sum of two integers is always an integer. Next what did we see? We saw while adding the two integers, the order of addition does not alter the sum, which means the answer is always the same irrespective of the order of addition. And this is called commutative property of addition. Like we saw, 5 plus minus 6 is same as minus 6 plus 5 and the answer in both the cases is equal to minus 1. So now we know two properties related to addition of integers. First is the closure property and the second is the commutative property. The rest of the properties we will see in the next class. Till then, bye bye children.